Sabre first uses the primer exchange reaction method to synthesize in the test tube a longer concatamer of identical short sequences, shown here in red, with the help of a catalytic self-folding DNA hairpin structure, a primer, and a DNA polymerase enzyme. The primer end of the resulting per-generated concatamer strand works as a handle that is complementary to the target sequence within the genomic DNA or one of the many RNA molecules of a cell. In this example, three adjacent target sequences in a single molecule are simultaneously bound by three per-concatamers. The per-concatamers provide scaffolds onto which, in the next step, multiple fluorescent imagers with short DNA sequences that are complementary to the concatamer repeats can be assembled. This boosted fluorescence signal can even be further amplified by synthesizing branched concatamers with secondary and higher order branches that are initiated at the internal sites of already existing per concatamers. Once attached to DNA or RNA target molecules, these can incorporate a significantly higher number of fluorescent imagers and provide greater sensitivities. Sabre amplified fish analysis can be used in a tunable fashion to visualize a combination of DNA and RNA targets inside the cell using fluorescent imagers that emit light at different wavelengths corresponding to different colors. The number of DNA and RNA targets, however, can be significantly increased by performing a technique known as DNA exchange, in which one set of fluorescent imagers bound to per-concatamers at a series of DNA and RNA target sites is captured under the microscope, washed out of the sample, and replaced by another set of fluorescent imagers that binds to per-concatamers at different DNA and RNA target sites. This exchange reaction can be repeated multiple times. 